have a 2008 Honda CB1000R. Uh, this bike is HPI clear, so it's never been categorized by the insurance or been involved in a major crash. Obviously in this video I'm going to show you around this bike on all the good and bad points about it. Obviously starting you off, as you can see it is a uh, track conversion bike. Uh, the previous owner had a small little drop on it, so he converted it to track as the original fairings did get damaged but he sold them on. So he's got track fairings for it. He has taken this bike on track about three times, uh, two UK tracks and one European. Obviously this bike is in very good condition. It does have a few marks here and there which I will go through with you in this video. But starting you off, the front brake disc and pads are in good condition. Upside down forks are nice and neat. Front mud guards are in good condition. Front end is clean. It does have a little bit of damage here but it's nothing major at all. A couple of little light cracks here and there on the five glass bearings. This side, obviously a few marks and scratches here and there. A bit of, um, obviously it looks like it's been repaired a few times maybe. Tank fairing is in decent condition, just a couple little marks. Here is obviously clean, just looks like it's had been uh, repaired. Underneath here is all nice and clean though. Rear tires have plenty of tread. Brake disc and pads are in excellent condition on the rear, so with a chain and sprocket. Nice aftermarket exhaust system, does sound nice. This side is in decent condition, very minimal marks this side, just a couple of light scratches from general use. We've got the hand guards, aftermarket front brake lever, aftermarket grips, and clutch lever. RNG uh, mirror caps on one side, this side have been removed. We've got clear front screen. The headlights have been removed on this. RNG crush slider for the engine casing. Nice carbon fiber full frame guard. Rear swing arms are nice and neat. The chain and mud guard is in good condition. Looks like it's got a carbon fiber wrap on the rear mud guard. Underneath here is nice and clean. The rear shock does work nicely with no issues on that. Braided brake line for the rear uh, rear brake. It's got a standard rear sets on either side. Obviously the ignition does work fine, including the fuel cap. Uh, the steering lock doesn't, uh, unfortunately doesn't work on this. I believe it's due to the conversion. Obviously everything works fine, ignition works fine, the fuel cap is working nicely. Radio is in good condition. I don't know if you can see through there, but the headers are really clean. So this bike has been barely been used. So that will reflect on the mileage of this bike, but the alloys are nice and clean. The tires are in good condition. They've got plenty of life left on them. It's got like a little red reflector there. So it is a clean bike. It just has a few marks here and there from general use. This side does have a little bit of wear and tear to the uh, crash slider on the engine. I believe underneath uh, should be clean. The frame guard is in very neat, tidy condition. The dash does work absolutely fine on this. It does have a bit of wear and tear to the dash, but it's nothing major at all. Obviously, all the switches are here. It just needs generally the full fairing kit to be put back on the road. Obviously, we do have the plate for it. Um, we do have the green slip as well, so obviously we can transfer into your name. The dash does work fine. Engine does run smooth on this. It does have the standard shifter with standard shifting. Gearbox is smooth, clutch has a really good biting point. Currently this bike has covered just over 10,000 miles. It's genuine miles as well, which is nice. It's a very low mileage bike. As long as, as, long as you look after it, it will last you a very long time. I'll see the plate for this bike, it is LD08LCN. So you can have a look on there as well. I don't believe it gets mentioned on the, the ad, uh, the reg anyway, so you can have a look at the MOT history. Um, to have a look for yourself. I believe it's only had one MOT, which is like 8,000 miles. But it's a very clean bike, ready for track use. But that'll be everything for this 2008 Honda CBR 1000. Thank you.